skincare. It doesn't just include sunburn protection. The increased temperatures at summertime can also lead to dry skin, rashes, and other irritations. Dermatologist at Belize Medical Associates, Dr. Jorge Lopez Granja, highlights three bad practices you may want to consider during the summer to have healthier skin. First of all, drinking water, plenty of water, it's important. Mm -hmm. Not only for your skin, but for the rest of the organs, for the proper functioning of your system or your body uh, in a whole, no? Now, with the skin, in terms of your skin being healthy or not, it depends how good uh, your skin is doing the protection function in terms of the barrier function, right? And here, there are plenty of factors that play a role. The first thing to look at is the kind of soap that you use. Natural factor moisturizer, it's how we call it. And it's, it's made of um, sugars, it's made of uh, free amino acids, and it's made of oils. If you are into uh, scented products, for example, most of them uh, have alkalized uh, substances which pH is, is high, like most of soaps do. So alkalized affect the skin barrier function because they remove, let's say, the oil film that our skin is supposed to have. Mm -hmm. And that oil film has um, several functions. One of them is to keep your skin hydrated and secondly, to keep uh, microorganisms and irritants off your body. So once you start using scented products, once you start using loofah, anything, for example, while you bathe that, that you scrub your skin, you're actually getting rid of, of that oil or that, of that protection, and then your skin will be more sensitive. Right? Mm. There's, there's a concept that I often hear uh, using exfoliating products, for example. Mm. Um, in all honesty, it, it, it's really not necessary unless you have a condition in which, you know, like for example, keratosis pilaris, right? Which is, you have a lot of little bumps on the skin, uh, then you could use it. But if, you, if your skin is normal, the process of, of shedding of the skin, of exfoliation, happens naturally. Mm -hmm. There's no need for us to try to help that process. Unscented or hypoallergenic are your best options. Another practice that people need to consider changing is how you do your laundry. For most of us with normal skin, mm -hmm. the choice of, of uh, soap powder or detergent uh, doesn't really affect you, right? until something changes. For example, it's summer and you start working out. So you'll be sweating more and then you're using uh, a lot of detergent. Oftentimes it's not about the brand, it's about the amount that you use. So by increasing the amount of detergent and even more by using fabric softener, uh, what will happen is the moment you start sweating, the residue of the chemicals will go into your skin and slowly the irritation uh, process starts until two, three weeks after you have an itching at the end of the day, when, especially when you remove your clothes that drives you crazy. For children, usually I do not advise parents to, to use fabric softener mm -hmm. to wash their clothes. The third is to take a break from those hot showers. Something that could go against having healthy skin and, and getting you dry skin even is, for example, how long your shower lasts, and what is the temperature of the water you use. Mm -hmm. So we recommend against hot water that tends to dry your skin. We recommend against a shower that takes longer than 10, 15 minutes. In this case, lukewarm is just fine. There are a lot more areas where skincare is concerned, but Dr. Lopez advises that all you have to do is take care of yourself in general. To have healthy skin, you just want your body to be working properly. 